there's one thing we all love is a greasy and delicious mouth-watering cheeseburger. There's absolutely nothing healthy about a delicious burger, but you're not going to be eating them every day, so whenever it's time for you to make one, do something special. And this one is from the 1920s. To be more specific, it started in 1912. It's been alive this long because yes, it is greasy as I mentioned, juicy, cheesy, and absolutely everything you would ever want in a cheeseburger. And today I'm going to show you my take on it, so let's do it. This burger was born from the world-famous Dyer's Hamburger Restaurant which opened doors in 1912 in Memphis, Tennessee. At that time, they did not have a flat top to cook their burgers, so it was all done in a cast iron skillet. And as you know, the more hamburgers you cook, the more grease you will accumulate. Since they kept all the grease from all the burgers being cooked, at a certain point it just becomes a deep fried hamburger. And the funny thing is they never changed that grease. So you know it's packed full of flavor and history which is almost impossible to replicate but I am going to do my best. And the first thing to do is to make a crazy flavorful grease. Now they have been using the grease from the burgers which is basically beef tallow aka beef fat. This is great to use and believe it or not, McDonald's used to fry their french fries with this. So I'll definitely be adding this to my mix. And this is lard, which is basically pork fat. This one here is not my favorite pick. Once I open it up, it seems like it was a little processed. I think I have something better. I want to use something as natural as possible. It is the real deal, 100% pork fat. Let's just say it's what makes bacon taste so good. And here we have duck fat. If you've never used it, it does have a unique flavor and I think throwing it into my mix is just going to make this special, so I'll definitely be adding this in. But now that we have all of our fats ready, I need to add more flavor and for that I'm going to be cooking some onions into it. I'm hoping that deep frying those onions into the grease is going to give you even better flavor. Now I'm going to be caramelizing the onions and not burning it. And to do that, I'll be keeping my grease at 325 degrees Fahrenheit. You want it golden brown but not burned. To make it even more flavorful, I'm going to be using Worcestershire sauce. We know that sauce was available during that time. I'm thinking that over a hundred years of making burgers, some must have gotten in there. So I'll definitely be adding that in. Now let's talk about meat because that's the most important ingredient. I like to grind my own beef. And the theory of Dyer's restaurant is this. If you have a lean burger patty and you add it to the grease, it will suck it up. But if you have a fattier burger, that won't happen as it's cooking grease will come out. I'm not sure if that's true but to me that does make sense. So to make my burger blend, I made 25% fat and the rest lean. That should be plenty of fat. The goal is to make 3 ounce balls. If you don't have a scale, just use a measuring cup. As long as the weight is consistent, you're good to go. And once I was done, this is what they look like. Now here's an interesting thing, there will be absolutely no salt on the burgers. It's all gonna come from the mustard, a good amount of pickles and the cheese. However, they do add a little bit of freshly ground black pepper. But talking about cheese, I'm gonna be using the most popular one there is. Yes, the processed stuff. To me, on a burger, this is as good as it gets. Yes, it is the processed stuff, but it's good. For the bread, I'll be using brioche bun. That's not what's used in dyers, but I think this will make a way better burger. But now that we have everything ready, I'm gonna be deep frying my burgers at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's 100% about technique. So I say it is enough talking and it is time to make some amazing burgers. So let's do it. Alright everybody, here we have our beautiful bird. What do you think about that, Angel? I saw you making it. It did yeah. not look that healthy. Bro. It's That's the whole point. It's not <laughs> supposed to be healthy, yeah? <laughs> I have a lot of things to say about this burger. One thing that I do want to say is I want to give a big shout out and thank you to my brother Greg from Ballistic Barbecue. You inspired me to cook this burger. 
Thank you, Greg. Without that being said, I said enough talking. Let's give this a try. You ready? Let's go for it, bro. All right, let's go for it. I'm excited to try uh, it. No. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. That wow. is an amazing burger. Mmm. Super juicy. Plenty of salt from the pico and from the extra cheese. No need to salt it at all. What do you think, Andrew? I want to know your opinion. I'm going to say it. You're going to say what? I'm going to say it. What? I'm going to tell them. Tell them whatever you want, bro. Honesty is always the most important thing. What do you say? I think it's better than a smash burger. So take that back. <laughs> I'm not taking it back. No, 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 no. <laughs> you know why? I'm going to tell you why. Why? I like that the burgers themselves are a little bit thicker. Yeah, it is a little bit thicker. Yeah, like, yeah. You still yeah, you still smash it. Like you smash it, but, but not I guess so much. When you deep fry, it kind of goes it like... It kind of comes back in. Right, 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 right. So when you do the smash burger, you smash it yeah, on yeah. so it stays thin. But take that back. But I'm not going to take that back. Like it's I, not better than the Smash Burger. I, it's I pretty so. good. It's amazing. But uh, I don't know about that. Here's the thing. I'm going to take another bite because it doesn't feel greasy. Even though it was deep fried. Yeah. It I doesn't feel greasy. That, yeah. I saw you making it. So I saw you dip it in a whole the thing oil. of oil and <laughs> fat and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it, it just tastes like... Like, not that it tastes like a regular burger, but right, it's right. like, it's regular. The amount of oil is regular. Yeah, you would have think that when you're dipping it in oil and you're bringing that thing up, it's going to be overloaded with oil, but it's not like that at all. I mean, maybe a little bit more greasy than a regular burger, but at the same time, a burger is greasy already, right? It has more flavors. Yeah, it, well, that's because I put a lot of different things inside of that oil anyway guys so here's the thing i got a lot of tips while andrew is still enjoy his things when you're smashing it do not try to just scoop it up and pick it up and put it work with another spatula inside of your actual larger spatula because you will keep its form if you just like go like this and put it directly you're gonna rip the whole thing apart everybody i i've learned that the hard way you gotta be gentle be gentle with it that's, yes that's what you're trying to say another thing keep your oil at 300 degrees fahrenheit not above not lower use a thermometer if you have to that way you'll get that nice caramelization my light reaction all the way through the burger which is exactly what you're looking for as the burger is cooking everybody it will start to float it's an indication that it's pretty pretty close for you to be done keep that in mind because as soon as you put it in it just boop it dunks you know it goes directly to that the bottom. doesn't mean then don't the, check it yeah that doesn't mean it's not ready how are you gonna know if it's ready when it, everything is nice brown caramelized it, yes stuff. if it's still a little bit of you know when you raise it and a little bit of the juices still come up from the top of the actual burger you will see the bubbling it's not ready just give a little bit more time i would love to know your opinion what do you think about this do you think this is a great idea do you think it's a terrible idea what do you think do you, do you think it might be better than a smash burger because i do <laughs> That's all you're talking about. Stop talking about Smash Burger. Now, what I will do is I'm going to save that oil so that I can cook it for many, many times. Since you're cooking in a low temperature, just strain it and keep that oil for many, many years until my kids do it and things like that. I think that would be amazing, yeah? That's that's how it originated, right? The exactly. Whole, the whole exactly. thing Exactly. Just going to keep that oil forever and be, watch out because you're going to be seeing a lot of different experiments with that oil. Just don't burn that oil. Don't cook it over 300 degrees Fahrenheit. That oil will last you for a long time. I'm down. <laughs> I'm down. Anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. And before going, we must confess. Confess. You're going to tell them? Confess what happened. They I'll need to know what them. happened. I'll tell, tell them. them. Tell them. Tell them. We ate it, and we both <laughs> thought that it was better than a... Than, uh, no! Than, uh, <laughs> When we were making it, we couldn't resist everybody. We ate all the burgers already. You saw that I made six totals. We already ate two because it was so good. And you took a bite as well. You couldn't resist. I only took one bite. <laughs> I, I only one took bite. Or two. One but bite he, for he two burgers. Two burgers <laughs> before this video. <laughs> It is absolutely amazing. I definitely recommend you giving it a try. You won't regret it. You Thank won't you regret so it. much for watching. It's better than the Smash Burger. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. It's not better than the Smash it Burger. It will change your life way more than a Smash Burger. It will change your life twice. Yes. <laughs> we out, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.